So, who who wants to see a teardown? Does anyone want to see a teardown? Insides are locks. I don't think you have a choice. Um, I've already shot. Haven't f f um, edited it yet. Um, it's actually turned into a lot of footage. Anyway, uh, Ross Locks here in Australia, Australian made locks, beauty. They um, sent me three locks. One's a uh, key lock. One's their 700 series key lock. It's, it's their best, it's the best one they make. 700 series, there it is. As in a key lock. It's the best safe uh, key lock that they make. And they also sent a, in their 1000 series electronic keypad lock and also their Bluetooth lock as well, their 1000 series Bluetooth lock. And so anyway, I tear those all down. And this is from an old safe. Um, this is a uh, cab locks. So th th this is a six lever jobby. So this is a uh, VDS rated lock for you mechanical lock aficionados. This is a pick resistant six lever VDS international rated. Um, ST, ST, STV, STUV is the brand, um, high security safe lock, and it's for it, it, it's the cab locks, I think, is the series or whatever. But anyway, it's uh, VDS branded, um, and it's okay. It's okay. The key is dual bitted, right? So the 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 key is a dual bidding, i.e., both sides. It's got bits on both sides, so the key way, and it's got a uh, security pin in the middle, so the key is hollow, uh, which makes it hard to pick, and it's pick resistant. So anyway, I've taken this out of an old safe, and uh, you'll see that that it is a standard international footprint. There's some de facto, like it's kind of like a de facto standard. I don't believe there's any international standard at all. Um, like as in any like certified, ratified by somebody. It's just, you know, Sergeant Greenleaf might have started it or somebody. And yeah, so you could actually um, change this, but this is a big chunkier boy, because this one is a nine lever jobby. This one's pick, pick resistant as well, and it's a nine lever. It's also dual bitted, like that, right? So, anyway, we can do a tear down of these if you're if you're curious about how a safe lock uh, works. So I've already taken that off, and here's inside the cab locks one, um, and you can see the six levers in there. Count them, okay? Whoop. We, we can actually take them out, like we can physically take them out like that. And there's the, uh, there's, there's the lever in there, okay? And what we've got is we've got some false gates in here, okay? So these, these little bits taken out of here, these aren't just, you know, well, they could randomize them, but um, these are actually uh, part of the anti-picking feature. So this is how, uh, because you've got to put, when you pick, a safe lock like this, okay, let me put the key in, I'll show you how it operates, right? So I'll put it in here, and I'll show you how it operates, okay? So when the key goes in, okay, and turns like this, you'll notice that the bolt work has not dropped down yet. It's only when all of these are lined up, which is based on the key bit in, when, when they're all lined up like that, does the bolt then start to retract and go in like that, okay? So that, that that's how it works. Now, if you try and pick this, what of course you've got to do, and there's you'll you'll notice that when it's loosey goosey like this, okay, the bolt bolt work is not touching these, so you've got no way to guess if you're trying to pick these and you don't put any force on the lever on the uh, on the bolt work like this, then you've then you've got no feel when when you're picking this, you've got no feel for when all of these gates are lined up, okay, so you don't know when they're lined up, so. Oh, we can physically remove that and yeah, so we can like, you know, th these things will just push, right? So you don't know when and, and they have to be fairly, you know, tight tolerance on there, right? So I've, I've, ugh, no, it's going to do that because it's got another curtain. It must have a curtain in there. Okay. So, or, or have I just not, not lined that up? But uh, anyway, yeah, we still can't, even though I've lined that up, I still can't push that bolt down. Okay, so anyway, so when you're picking this thing, you would try and put tension on, so you use a tensioner bar, and you try and get the uh, tension on here, but you'll notice it's still not touching. So actually, I don't know how you'd pick this one, actually. You would have to, no, yeah, you would have to put, okay, so you'd have to move that out, and anyway, so yeah, you've got to put tension on the bolt, so the bolt has to be touching these, and then you can feel when it drops into place, that's why, you know, if you watch the lock picking lawyer or whoever, 
um, you know, Bosnian Bill or somebody, right, pick locks, they will go, oh yeah, like you can feel it, you know, drop in place, like, you know, the first lever, right, you know, dropping in place in one or whatever he says, right, and that's, that, that's what he's talking about, although this is a bit different to a pin and tumbler lock, right, and it's substantially different, right, but, but the concept is kind of the same, so these, these things here will feel like when, you know, if you're putting tension on that, it'll feel like it's dropping into place and you go, aha, I got it, I'll go on to lever number two, but it's actually a false gate, okay, so it's, it's what's called a false gate, and that will, start, that, that will make it harder to pick, like, it's not impossible to pick this, but you need a specialized tool to pick it. You can't just pick it with your ordinary lockpick um, set, right? Your ordinary ra raking tools or whatever. You just can't, um, you know, well, <laughs> not just some, mate, yeah, I, I, I don't think you can. I, don't, I think it's probably physically impossible. And uh, same with this Ross series lock. It's incredibly difficult to pick. Nothing picks a lock faster than a 44 Magnum. Yeah, sorry, I'm not uh, watching the chat. Pick resistant. Yes, resistant, right? Um, anyway, but yeah, you won't get into these things with your standard lockpick set with your raking, you know, with your lever arm and your raking tool, right? You've got a, there, there, there is like an $800 set you can buy specifically for the Ross 700 series lock um, that allows you to pick it. But you still need the talent to do it. And apparently it's still, even if you have the proper $800 tool, US dollar tool to do it, um, customized tool just for this one lock, then... Uh, yeah, it's still apparently still still hard to do. So I, c I can take this one apart, and we'll have a look inside a nine lever jobby. And so the sheer number of levers is going to be it's going to make it more better. It's going to be more better. Should have really uh, should have got a bigger screwdriver. Jesus, that's hard. Wow, don't know what happened to that. Did I strip it? This is not going to be easy. that we're in very different very different isn't it this is i'll tell you the features of this one it's a very different system now the anti-pick features of this okay you can see the false gate in here okay these are false gates okay um when the bolt work comes through you can accidentally get it in the wrong place okay so that's that's number one right it's got false gates so that's anti-pick feature number one. Second one is that it's got left and right right each plate is alternate right so that one is let's just say right hand and the next one is left hand okay it's sprung from the left and right so that actually makes it harder to pick um, and then, okay, when you get through, actually, I will, I'll take them all out, make sure I put that back on top, okay, so, and then, when you get through into that, then, you've got the bolt works in the middle, right, so that was four, uh, five, right, so you've got five levers on the top, then you've got the bolt work in the middle, that's going to ruin your day, right? So that actually, um, that makes it harder to keep, to get tension on the bolt work when you've got it right in the middle. So that, yeah, it, it just makes it harder, much, much harder to pick. Um, and then here's a curtain. This is actually an internal curtain in there. I won't take it apart further, okay? But this is a curtain inside which actually closes the uh, keyhole when you turn it. So that, that makes it harder as well. So it's got a, a curtain feature um, as well. And uh, yeah, and also... I do believe the uh, there are and the shape also these sort of shapes in here these roundy shapes these all matter these all make it harder to pick this is quite a difficult lock to pick and you know it's probably not hard if you've got the right tool and you're experienced and you, you know you've tried you know you spent some hours picking you know learning to do it right but you but you need the specific tool there's there's no way you're going to pick this with just a standard lock pick yes that is a challenge to the lock picking lawyer Pick a Ross 700 with just a, ra a standard raking, a standard lever arm and a raking tool. You, you know, it's like, this is why he uses all the, and he sells on these store, all these specialized tools, right? Is because each each lock has its own unique sort of requirements. You know, just a regular pin tumbler lock, yeah, you just get in there with your lever arm and your regular, you know, either a raking um, 
bit or a uh... yeah i i don't know if COVID instruments um sell a lock picking tool for this i when i googled it i only found one company i can't remember that started with z or y or something can't remember um they 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 had a lock picking set in like a brief came in a briefcase and everything it was like 800 us bucks and it was designed for the ross 700 series lock and that's the only one i could find bit of a fan of the lock picking lawyer he's good his videos are good yes i i do hereby challenge the lock picking lawyer to pick a Ross 700 or, or any, you know, even a Cablox one like this. Pick pick one of these with just a regular, you know, like a uh, bobby pin. You know, do it using, a, you know, a, a soda can pull tab or something. You know, like do it, you know, using those sort of tools without using the customized tools, what I'm talking about, right? Or, or actually designing your own customized tool just with, you know, like a bent piece of wire or something. Try, try and pink that with like a bent piece of wire. Um, and the Ross 700 is even going to be <laughs> harder than this one over here because it's got extra features. So that's the uh, cab locks. Um, and this is the Ross 700 made in Australia. And um, they do actually, I actually talked to the, uh, I talked to them on the phone, had a very lengthy phone conversation with the designer of a Bluetooth lock. Who would like to see inside their Bluetooth lock? I think I'll make this the last thing before I go. Anyway, very, very nice safe lock. That, 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 that would probably be one of the world's best um, safe, you know, safe key locks. Um, nine lever pick resistant jobby. Try it. I can try and put the key in it. You've really got to do it with the back on it. Because um, the machining in this is so precise that, yeah, there. There. The machining in this is so precise. Yeah, they, they really brag about the, the, the precision of their CNC machines. Yeah, look, that, 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 that won't even work, right? The, the key is turned, but that won't even work. So either I've got that backwards or <laughs> something's gone horribly wrong. And the, and the tight-fitting machining on this is absolutely incredible. It's first rate. Yeah, got it, right? Like, it, it, it just wouldn't, it, it, it wouldn't do it before. It would not do it. And now, now it works beautifully. Right, so yeah, it's it's kind of hard to demonstrate that, um, but yeah, there you go. That's the Ross 700 series. Who wants to see the Bluetoothy? Yes, ta-da! Here's the Ross 1000 series Bluetooth lock, and this one has a different key. It's got a uh, six-lever wave key, uh, which, which is a different design. It's not as secure as this. It's probably probably on par with this. Well, they're both six-lever, uh, but probably security-wise, it's probably on. Uh, with this cab locks one over here so it does have a key override but it's got a usb input and you'll notice that uh this is um this is all stainless steel it's stainless steel for a reason because one of the attack methods for safe locks is a gallium attack um you put you pour gallium liquid into this and any sort of uh aluminum based uh lock um will just crumble away It'll just crumble away after like an hour or something. Um, whereas the stainless steel is um, much less susceptible to that. So, gallium, um, it can still, I believe it can still attack stainless steel, but you'll find that everything in this is stainless steel. Everything. The levers, the uh, the bolt work, the whole works, the plates, everything. So let's take that. There you go. That is in inside a 1000 series Ross safe lock. And it comes with both, you, you can actually get it with a, um, with no key override. So you can get it just, just the Bluetooth. So it uses a Bluetooth uh, interface. I can't remember what one it is. Upside down, all the electrons are going to fall out. There it is. It's the, yes, it's the, the ISP1507. Um, but their application is written such that uh, it could run, and they said they might supply a different type. Um, but it uses a normal Bluetooth stack and everything. They've got a little uh, motor drive here, which then the swing arm. So this swing arm just comes out of the way. So you can see this, this just, you know, it, it pulls this back and the bolt work swings out of the way. And there's got, this one in particular has a key override. I can show you that. And once again, it is pick resistant. You'll probably see that in a sec. It'll have false gates. Yeah, there you go. Got some false gates on there. No worries. And yeah, the wave key goes in there. And well, yeah, I've got the wave key here. They call it a wave because it looks like a wave. You can see the keyhole there. 
This is again one of these things that may not work. Will it work? No, see it doesn't. It doesn't. That is supposed to that bolt work there is supposed to drop into there, but it doesn't. Because it's just slightly out. The machining is slightly out. It's a real pain in the ass to demo these. Nah, nah, nah. It's it's popped out. They're the individual levers there. So it's got six of those with false false gates. Oh. And there you go, and a swing arm, whatever you want to call it, and then that just pulls back on that. But all this is stainless steel, everything's. So that's inside a Ross. There, there isn't much to it. It's, it's just that chip. It's just the Bluetooth chip. And all the magic goes into the uh, Bluetooth, uh, the engineering. So I spoke to the designer at length of this thing, and he and he said even though he wrote every single line of code in this thing, he cannot pick the he he cannot hack this. Um, it, it's simply un unhackable. Like from, you know, you could hold a gun to his head and he, he could not hack this thing, right? Because the security key is kept in here, then it negotiates with your phone. So you can set up which, which is not cloud, but which is not cloud based or anything else runs standalone on your phone. And, uh, and the, and then it negotiates with the secure key inside here. And it's, you know, that's how you get your permission and stuff like that. Anyway, there's lots of, lots of effort into that. So yes, key uh, override handy. If you forget to plug in before closing the safe. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, so I was actually, the the safe that this Cablox thing came from, this uh, Cablox one came from, I was going to replace it for this. Unfortunately, it's got the wrong, um, this is a uh, swing deadbolt, so it goes out of the way like that, and it swings, swings in like that, right, and then it locks back, right, so it goes in like that, and uh, yeah, it designed, but it's in the wrong orientation, so I can mount it the other way around, and I can mount it back to front because it's got a keyway on both the front and the back. You can see keyway down the bottom and here. But unfortunately, I don't. I've, I have only got a left-hand side key. I don't have a right-hand side key. So they are sending me a new key that's on the other side. No, I can't just take all these plates out and reorder them because it, it doesn't work like that. There you go. That is inside a Bluetooth lock. Extremely simple, but all secret source is in the... Well, actually, they do use standard protocols and everything. They do use standard libraries and stuff like that. They said they, they leave that up to the experts. They're not dumb enough to write their own, uh, you know, write their own secure, you know, encryption stuff. He said, never trust a company that writes their own encryption. And yep, I would agree with that. Never trust a company that writes their own encryption because they aren't experts at it. Leave it up to, you know, so it uses, you know, the latest military grade encryption or whatever. So that is a swing bolt design. So it, it, it won't automatically retract. So, you know, so, so the safe, the safe actually has an arm like this. And when you turn the knob on the front of the arm, it pushes against this. Okay, so if it pushes against this, I can't push again. Like, it, it's not going to go down. And I can't, yeah, I, I can't push on that. It's wrong. But I can mount it up the other way. So I can push on this side. I can push on that side. So I can mount it up the other way. Because there's a big arm that comes in here inside the safe. So yeah, I've got to physically mount it up the other way. Unfortunately, I don't have a key for that. There's inside, and the other electronic lock they sent me is basically the same as this, um, but it doesn't have a key, key override. It's just an electronic lock. So it just has a small board in the bottom. It's the same footprint. So there's anyway, there is lots of tech that goes into locks. There's lots of things to think about. Uh, there's lots of engineering. Anyway, they are Australian made locks. The only locks made in Australia, they're highly reputable um, to international VDS standards. He was telling me how they had the, the VDS guys out, um, you know, and they inspected their factory. They went through all their paperwork, all their design stuff and everything. They went through them like a, with a fine tooth comb and it was painful. Like that snap on the rubber gloves, you know, <laughs> bend over. Um, and we're, we're going to inspect you. If, if you want our, uh, you know, VDS approval, then uh, yeah, yeah, bend over. So... Yeah, anyway, very cool. Let's see, Ross 700 series and the Ross 1000 series electronic safe lock. And there will be a video coming back, coming up on that shortly. No, um, you can't get the uh, solenoid to move. It, it's imper it's a uh, motor drive. It's um, impervious to uh, mag magnetic attacks and bump attacks. This just has the battery in it, for those wondering. No, it doesn't have the antenna. The antenna is actually built into that chip you saw in there. And I asked him about this, and I said, well, I assume that you had like an external antenna in here, which goes outside the case, um, the safe, which goes on the front door of the safe. And he went, no, no, we just, 
live with the reduced range. He says, you know, you can get within half a meter, and even though it's inside a steel safe. Okay.